<laughs> what you like to do on the side is you like to sell candy. Is that correct? Yes. Now I, I make candy and fudge. Fudge isn't your primary thing. What What was the last uh, craft show you hit up? Actually, it was the Taylor Recreation Center, um, Taylor, Michigan. Where at? Which one? Well, no, actually, I'm sorry about that. It was the Ford Senior Center in Taylor. Ford Senior Center. Yeah, it was put on by the Taylor Recreation. It's off E-Course between Telegraph and Beach. Oh, okay. By the golf course. Yeah, okay. Yeah. How'd that go? It Horrible. Was... <laughs> <laughs> that one wasn't one of my best. Okay. <laughs> it was I... much slower. Um, I usually do pretty good at Divine Child in Dearborn or Lindbergh. The Allen Park one used to be the big one for you. Yeah. The street fair thing with Allen Park yeah. used to be the big to-do. Why right did you now. guys stop doing the Allen Park one? Because Allen Park is getting a little too big for their britches. Translation to charging too much loot? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <Am> <laughs> I... The expectations, I mean, it went... It doubled in, literally doubled in price in three years. And I hated oh. it. Well, <laughs> we know that hates all of it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> but on an average, what do you think, like, what's a good price for a table for a weekend that you consider? What good? should these places be charged? Yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say. Um, for an indoor show, probably 60 $65. For the whole weekend? Or each day? No, eat for a day. Indoor shows are typically only one day. So you're in almost 200 bucks a weekend for these places, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or just Saturday, Sunday? No, I just don't. They're one-day day shows. Oh, just one day. One-day shows. So you, you kick in 65 bucks. Mm-hmm. What is a great take for Kim in the Fudge Factory? What is the big? <laughs> what is a what is a killer weekend? What is one of the what is a weekend? What's that one you of your br- better weekends? You yeah, know? what would you brag about? A couple uh, hundred. Pardon me. <laughs> what is that? What would you? What would be like a huge weekend for Kim? What would be like a a, a monster haul for Kim in the Fudge Factory? Uh, this year I did. Between eight and nine hundred dollars in, in one day. In one day, dang, wow, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. Haul. Yeah, <laughs> that's busy. Did you put him to work? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, so that's a pretty good uh, deal. Now, what is your number one seller? Is it f- what flavor of fudge do most people buy? Typically, basic chocolate uh, grasshopper, which is mint with crushed Oreo cookies. Ugh. Ugh. Hate mint. Yeah, <laughs> hate mint. Chocolate raspberry is good. Chocolate. Has it got chunks of raspberries? It got raspberry swirl. Flavoring. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, what about peanut butter? Is that a big one? Peanut butter. Say, like, yeah. Peanut butter and chocolate. Peanut butter. Like coffee or something. Like or something? I've, yeah. I've typically got uh, anywhere between twenty and twenty-five different flavors of fudge. Jesus. Wow, Kim's Fudge Factor. So, <laughs> yeah. so you're gonna you're gonna go to a craft show, Novi or wherever else. How many days did it take you to make all the candy and stuff and prepare before the thing shows up? <laughs> that's super hard. Um, that's <laughs> difficult because I do it, you know. How many pounds of fudge are you taking, I guess, is yeah. the question. Oh, How many boxes, four I pounds? generally take six. For one indoor show, I'll take six bricks of each kind. And how much is a brick? Like, what's a brick weigh? It's a minimum half pound. Okay. Um, and the reason I say minimum is because if it's just straight chocolate, yeah, then it's a half a pound. But when nuts are added or marshmallows, and adjust or, the weight accordingly. Yeah, yeah, it it increases, so it's a minimum half pound, and they're six dollars. Jesus, <laughs> the fudge, the fudge biz. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you sample other people's fudge to compare to yours? Like, I, is, of course, is, I do. <laughs> you look, you look <laughs> across like, Let me get a piece of this fudge. <laughs> When, you play it cool, so when you go to like one of these places, is there multiple fudge factories showing up for this, or just you? Sometimes there's one or two other people. Oh man! But usually, you guys have like a knife fight in the alley. No, and stuff like no, that. it's pretty like, good. Yeah. But I always have samples, and they're out, and that's what pretty much sells it. Oh, once you taste the Kim deliciousness. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now in the summer, I know it gets pretty hot. How do you keep it all cool from melting? I don't. I haven't been doing summer shows anymore. Oh, oh. that's the way right. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing melts. Having going. issues with it melting, don't do it. <laughs> that's the way around. Uh, but when I did do them, we, we would get dry ice. And that would, it yeah. kept it perfect. I remember him running to the store and having to get that. You get dry ice from like Meyer and crap. Like, <laughs> he's super into it. So, Dad, you I bought like... dry ice everywhere. <laughs> yes, he did. Who has the cheapest dry ice? I don't even know where you buy dry ice. Meyer has it. Coolies in uh, Romulus? 
Cool. Yeah, it? by the airport. It's really an ice cream distributor. It's, yeah. Oh, okay. He sells um, they, the ice cream to the trucks. Yeah, wow. but he also sells it, and it's just a flat ten dollars a slab. Oh, okay. So where, where do you buy most of like your chocolates and stuff that you're going to use to make your candies? Uh, Lorna's Cake and Candy Supply in Allen Park. Wow, look at there, Charles. <laughs> wow. Copyright infringement. Yeah. There you go. Uh, now, I thought you went down to Toledo, no? Not for that. Not oh, for I that. thought there was candy in Toledo. I got on Toledo no. for Chick Fil A. <laughs> oh, okay, well, Chick Fil A. <laughs> Jesus Chicken. <laughs> hey, we didn't get any Chick Fil A gift cards for Christmas this year. Oh no, we didn't. man, you don't get any from me. <laughs> <laughs> we know how do. bizarre you are. <laughs> the whole country loves Chick Fil A except for Charles. <laughs> well, a little later we'll we'll be tasting some of this uh, d- fudge and and some sweet pea milk here coming up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 